Hey guys, welcome back. We have a gravity model in physics. We also have a gravity model in tourism geographies. So we will study here a model that is that is based on spatial interaction and tourist flow that is called gravity model. First, we have physics model that is gravity. The shorter the distance between two objects, the greater the mass of either both objects, the greater the gravitational pull between the objects. So this is about force between two masses, two objects that if their mass is more if their mass is greater either of one or two and distance is short there will be larger gravitational pull so in tourism we also have a gravity model of course it is derived from newton's law so it is named gravity model and it is introduced in geography by stewart so it he was a social scientist he introduced this model to tourism geography tourism geography studies so we have this model which which measures interaction between all the possible location pairs so we have a mathematical formula that describes the level of interaction between two places based on size of population and distance between them so let's understand we have gravitation model we have two things one is mass so mass is in this model basically the number of people population of maybe destination or generating reason origin or destination so number of people in the place will be the mass okay so there's this that tourism is directly proportional to the masses number more number of people more travel so that is basic idea behind gravitation model second is friction that is something that is restraining tourism activities so in friction we have cost that is cost in terms of time and cost in terms of money so if we have time more time more money that is more cost involved there will be less travel so it is inversely proportional we have proportional thing directly proportional one thing increasing increases second thing also increases inversely proportional one thing increases second thing decreases so that is concept of directly proportional and indirectly proportional in physics so here also we have mass and friction in terms of in terms of travel patterns so here we have mathematical expression of same model that i explained you explained to you so this is basically two objects is proportional to their masses and indirectly proportional to their respective distance here we have travel activities between point 1 and point 2 i is origin j is destination now travel pattern will decrease with distance more distance between point a and point b less travel okay so something in denominator will form will 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 less the figure okay so it will less the figure here and we have pi and pj so these are population or attractiveness attractiveness of a location so population of origin into population of destination divided by distance between them now more the distance less will be the tourist flow more the population more will be the tourist flow so that is idea behind tourism's geography's gravity model k is here proportionality proportionality constant that we have in such mathematical expressions we all always have a constant so k is here constant and other i already explained so this is number of tourism activities or tourist flow or tourism interactions we can say tourist number of tourism activities or number of tourists we can say okay tourist flow we can say so we here gravity model is basically we we express spatial interaction between two places in form of mathematical expression so here we can understand that tourism activities will be more tourist flow will be more if there's large number of population either in our origin or in destination and will be less if there is distance more okay so that is distance between two and it is population of one place and population of two place, second place that is destination i hope you understand this mathematical expression we have here this diagram that will show you the distance factor okay so here interactions are more tourist flow is more and distance between a and b is less okay so this side distance is increasing distance is one distance is two distance is three as the distance is increasing we have interactions decreasing okay so this is higher higher and this is lower we start from zero and this is towards n and this is towards n so distance is increasing and interactions are decreasing so that is concept of distance and 
time time we have uh, distance and time we have population that is directly proportional we have an extension of this gravity model because this was only limited to distance and population that is not a perfect model we have the extension that is developed that is beta lama and alpha now beta is parameter of transport friction related to the efficiency of the transport system maybe there's distance okay maybe there's distance that is large but we have more better transport facilities we have a good flight from delhi to to dubai okay but there's shimla is near to us shimla is near to delhi but there's no good number of flights good good frequency of flights okay available then what is more accessible in that case in that case dubai is more accessible so ladakh is not that much accessible from De delhi whether it's 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 near to delhi but but we have good transportation facilities so these are parameters parameters of transport friction so that is beta so more the power of beta the number will increase that is it so this is friction rarely linear so so the greater the friction of distance for instance two locations serviced by a highway will have a lower beta index than if they were serviced by a regular road road okay so beta is basically the frequency or we can say the transport thing distance is not only the attribute we are also considering here accessibility factor that is transportation factor a highway or a regular road we have two different things okay so th that is about distance at lama we have movement okay so that is movement of people here we have origin point maybe there is large population in origin point but how many of them are willing to travel how many of them are potential tourists how many of them have good income to support tourism activities so that is lama and alpha is basically the attractiveness of a destination destination has large number of tourists large number of people basically large number of culture but how many of them are attractive okay one place is important commercial activity 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 will attract more movement okay so that is it maybe a, a, a city is large but there is no good market go, no good attraction no good commercial activities that is, that is happening no good hotels to accommodate no good attractions no good theme parks so then what what is the what is the use of that population so there different factors are attributed to the simple model of pi pj divided by dij so we have attributed with the distance the transportation factor with the population the potential travel market and with the destination the attractiveness of the destination so that is extension of gravity model there was a question in in for uh, ugc tourism net examination about what is gravity model or uh, it was like gravity model represent what something like that and option was tourism geography simple so that that is very simple questions that we have from this topic gravity model and it is very very simple very simple that more the distance less will be travel more the population more will be travel more population and in extension we simply have more population that is that has potential to travel that has good discretionary income will have more travel more the destination which has good attractive resources good attractions good amenities good resources that will be more travel and the destination okay distance between them will have less travel if more the distance less travel and uh, distance number will increase if there is transportation friction that is more if transportation friction is less then the, that will be that then the dis figure of distance will be low so that is basically friction friction related to transportation maybe distance is more but but maybe transportation facilities are there then that will that will not serve the good results that's why they have attributed beta to it and alpha and gamma to them so that is basic tourism geography model gravity model of tourism geography i hope you understand i hope you like this video keep watching our videos stay tuned to our channel have a great day